Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go to Primark again, because always we're in Primark, but I specifically want to go and have a look at all the Christmas stuff. It's out sooner than you think, and all the good stuff will sell out fast. So much Christmas stuff. We walked past it earlier and I was like, uh, we are coming back here just to see decorations alone. Milo is allowed to pick one decoration. Each, that's really, really cute. One decoration. This is my decoration. Each, this is really cute too. This is one decoration, decoration each year for the tree. And that's how we're kind of like building a very eclectic mix of decorations. Also really like the idea of, these ones over there. Also really like the idea of um, one day the kids taking their own decorations and being able to start their own Christmas trees. I think that's a cute tradition. Oh, it is. That's very similar to the one we got, the one that we got in New York that cost a small fortune. Not the same, but similar it vibe. Handmade. It was handmade. You're absolutely right. Oh, look at these. I don't even know what this is, actually. A wooden novelty garland. Love this so much. I don't know if it's too late to put this around our tree because we have already decorated it. Also these ones, I think, I saw something last year, I think that you can um, scent these, the ceramic ones, if they're like untreated, I think you could actually put oils on these and then they, uh, you know, like a, a real tree scent um, and they'll kind of hold that smell. They have got so many more decorate. this is so cute. So many more decorations in loads of different themes and colours this year than they have had. This is Milo's obsessed with nutcrackers. Obs oh, look at that! <laughs> okay, we'll look at the Disney ones. Oh, that is. Oh, wow, that's heavy. That's like um, resin. She would. We can't pick Ella's bauble for her. I've made that mistake before. I think she would really like that one, but. She'll be cross if we pick it for her. Oh, it's got oh, a little extra stitch. Um, I wonder what this was. It's got a marker pen on it, so you can write your own name on the bauble. They've got some um, like customizable ones, which is quite a cool idea. What I was going to say was this. I feel like it's like a, a, a resin, or a, it doesn't feel as breakable as a regular ball ball. Usually I'm all about these ones because they are actually unbreakable. In fact, I was talking to my brother this um, past week about his daughter because she's nearly one. Um, and I was talking about the kind of ball balls that he might want to gravitate towards like these because they will pull off everything from the tree. A stitch throw. A stitch throw. A stitch Christmas throw. There's actually loads of stitch. So even, this is a whole stitch wreath. Lee just pointed out this night bus advent calendar which is really really cute oh look it's got lights and a snitch one too that's also got lights they've really i feel like i always say this but they've really upped their game this is just like that rope that i made the um sign with the other weekend i've never seen anything like that before and now it's following me loads and loads of disney tree toppers as well lights I really, I'm coming around to these um, kind of cherry lights. I've, I've got some like this that I had around the door last year. I've got lots of um, like stocking stuffer type. I say stocking stuffers, but they are, you know, just gifts. Not everyone has to do big Christmas gifts. I actually don't do gifts with very many people. I really, really like that. Um, I don't do gifts, gift exchanges with really any adults uh, in the family. Lee and I don't do gifts, nothing. So, you know. I tend to only do stuff like this for like Secret Santa and stuff like that. Or if you want like little presents for people, good place to come. These are quite nice and I, I like that they've got this in this set. Um, obviously, of course. Uh, and they've got this exact same here as a Moscow mule. I'm not sure how this is a Moscow mule, but hey, um, kind of like a, a different way of selling it but making it like you're not just buying someone a random decanter and they've got a gin one as well oh and a tiny little what is going to be inside that is it instant coffee because otherwise you are assuming that person has the means to brew that these are cute little cake kits i don't think i've ever seen oh it's like a mug cake oh the kids would love this lots of kind of um kitcheny type gifts oh gardeny stuff this is really really nice i love these little um not watering cans but like a spritzer more stitch stuff do you know what i think money has money got this 
Yeah, Manny's got that. He's like, oh. I, did we get it or did Ella get it? Because Ella was obsessed with him getting something from I think Ella made the, the Stitch uh, pet stuff. There you go. No, I made, I made you oh, get that's that. That's cute. I made you get that Well, stitch. Ella really wanted the Stitch bed when that was here. And then by the time I was actually prepared to buy, to buy it. Oh, that's so cute. More Stitch. Oh, this yeah, seems to be the, the favourite like character. Even present. the bows and stuff. I like these ones. Kind of like rustic -y looking stuff like these i really like that well i do but again disney disney everything but this i, I really like these kind of um wrapping themes this is cute but this would just be immediately covered in manny's hair also yeah way too small oh. manny would never fit in an outfit i can't imagine his neck is so huge we would never find oh look a little dog tree advent calendar. I got a little um, tree from Primark the other week. I, I really like these, but you just know that glitter is going to go everywhere. Something around it smells really nice. I'm assuming it's a candle. This is really cute. I'm wondering if it's got um, something inside, like a potpourri or something. I don't think it has, but it, it could have. And maybe you could use the same, the same way that I was talking about those other um, like ceramic things where you could well i mean with this you definitely could stuff some potpourri inside the bottom of it and it would work that way um or you could just put a little bit of oil on it and maybe that would work oh that's a cute candle and these yeah there's a reason that it smells so nice around here and the smell and it does smell nice oh and that's a nice jar they're cute they've got some little um mercury glass looking trees as well so we are actually doing christmas dinner at our house this year for the first year so i'm very excited about tablescaping and like ugh, all this stuff this stuff that i've never really been able to do or there's never been a point to it before i'm going all in please i mean i'm not sure what i would serve on that tiny little platter but it's cute also love a jog this is eight pounds <laughs> You know I love an enormous really t-shirt. It's really a night shirt, isn't it? Oh, that's so oh, I'm like... I think I'm really into that kind of more rustic-y um, Christmas look. These are really nice. These little dishes are cute as well. I like the way that they've set this out as well because I wouldn't have thought to do it this way, but you could have like lots of different like little nibbles. These are really nice. Four pounds. Um, re I mean, I know obviously gift bags are all reusable, but more so reusable gift bags this is nice for two pound fifty actually a red wreath um that i saw like a berry wreath saw recently in here and that was the main reason that i came in because i thought that is gonna sell out so quick i haven't seen it yet so i might already be too late oh look someone's hidden one way in the back oh this looks like it's damaged so they do have quite a few different kinds of wreaths i knew that i knew when i saw it before i knew i should have purchased it that's definitely damaged because um, it was such a good wreath for the price. Although this is quite nice as well. And I think they're all £12, which is a really good price. So one of the other things that I was looking for was um, like a garland, because these can be really expensive as well. I was looking at them in TK Maxx uh, the other day and someone said, oh, they've got a berry one of that. Oh, that's really good, £10. That's not bad at all. This is £10. Someone told me the other day uh, that the ones in b have gone up to 25 So the ones that I was looking at in... Um, TK Maxx were actually a really good price because they were like 25, 30 pounds, but obviously better quality. These are 10. So if you're looking for uh, a cheap wreath, I don't think this, I mean this part, that looks kind of plasticky, but I don't think this looks too bad. I think you could judge these a little bit. I'm still on the fence about this. I don't actually think that they've got one in my size. I had this in, do you remember? I had it in, oh, they have, I had it in. Oh, this is a bit cheap. I'm never gonna finish my sentence. I had this bedding set in my basket last month and then I ended up not buying it and everyone said you're gonna regret it. And I think I already do. The napkins are a really good price. These are three for two, three for two napkins, three pounds for two napkins. Quite a few different um, options. Oh, this is nice. This kind of tablecloth, what is this? 10 pounds. Do you know what? The little tree that I bought last month was like this. It was like a ceramic one with stars in it. And that's not here either. So for sure, I know it seems early, but this is the time to come and get the stuff from places like this because the good stuff, the stuff that is really, really good value will sell out super fast. They've got some really nice um, like little home 
fragrances as well as well as obviously like little weed diffusers and stuff and candles galore um i think these little sprays are nice don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy this kind of thing because i am told by the powers that be that if you engage with content then you are more likely to see it in the future so maybe i'll pop up in your feed more often if you give this video a like let's have a little look around the christmas pajamas they've got the like snuddies in christmas pattern obviously disney versions because you can't turn a corner without something disney and primark oh fleecy pajamas these are quite cute and these kind of remind me of the um well what used to be oh yeah there they are i'm gonna say like they used to be like the american trend of um, families in matching pajamas and they were always so expensive to buy over here now here they are in primark and they've got quite a few different versions as well oh, this was really nice until it had bambi on it I liked this until until there was Bambi on it. Same as this, I was like, oh, this is really cute. I don't necessarily want a Disney character on everything. And of course there is a Stitch onesie. We are gonna come back, at some, this is amazing. Gonna come back at some point and um, go through all of the new, like regular stuff, you know, just winter wear. Um, but I wanted to make this specifically Christmas. So let's take a look at what they are putting out for Christmas in the women's wear. I actually have seen someone walking around Meadow Hall in this jumper today and she completely sold it to me. It looks so cool. I can't deal with the this because number one, I'm constantly worried about getting makeup here. But number two, I don't have much of a neck to begin with. And so when I wear anything that's got any kind of turtleneck it's just like i go straight from shoulders to like mouth i like this this also is begging for like a little cricket iron on vinyl i don't know if this is like christmas specifically i swear to god i've got christmas pictures um in like the 90s and my dad was wearing this exact top so much as it's kind of like preppy ish um but you know red it's still Christmas, isn't it? And then of course they have some Christmas jumpers. <gasps> what is this? Oh, are these scrumsies or are they bottoms and tops? They're bottoms and tops. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, for sure, even just looking at what they've got out now, this is gonna sell out super fast. This one, particularly the black one, they've only got extra small sizes left. In fact, it doesn't look, they don't look tiny and they're like stretchy wool. Um, but this feels like a kind of neutral, christmas jumper if you want something a uh, little bit less in your face and it's a hooded it's a really nice material it's kind of like a it feels like it's got a lot of stretch just spotted some disney of course i actually quite like that one I call that subtle disney and the medium this is coming home with me that is really cute i really like that too is it c for christmas it just really wants that jacket. There are some men's Christmas things. These are really nice socks. I don't. I didn't see the socks downstairs. Man, there was just so much stuff. Yeah, I know we've got this. They're really cool. They've got a lot of Stranger Things. I feel like this was in and then it sold out, and it's back. They actually have absolutely tons of Christmas jumpers in the kids section that I wish were in the adult section. Another little look around the menswear. They've got some really cool stuff. Oh, <laughs> that's really good. We've got shirts as well and some seasonal t shirts. Oh, and a Grinch sweatshirt. <gasps> Look, they've also got, I could get, I could make Lee have like a matching one to this one. We've just checked out and imagine how annoyed I am with myself that I've just seen these pajamas. Wearing our new outfits, Primark outfits already. I love this. I'm so glad that I got it. Do you love it? I yeah. love this. I wanted a medium because I wanted it to be kind of uh, baggy enough to wear with leggings. Also, there were matching leggings, but I can't go that far. I was messaging my brother while we were in the queue and he asked me to go back for uh, a Hellfire t-shirt for my sister-in-law. And the bauble that Milo decided on, because I know you're all super interested, was this little stitch. Which, by the way, was seven pounds That seems insane. Um, I think you saw everything else. And then, of course, this which is fabulous. Thank you for coming along and um, looking around Primark with me again. Like I said at the beginning, this is just Christmas. So I'm gonna go back and look at the kind of new for winter stuff in the next few weeks, because there was loads and loads of stuff I wanted to see, but it was so busy today. Um, and it was just more of a kind of like festive fun look around. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.